hey guys this is gonna be our very first video oh my gosh <laughs> i'm Brittany, and i am brandy so today we're gonna do a fenty versus Too faced foundation for dark skin mm -hmm. so i will be doing Too faced and i will be doing fenty boo so let's get to it all right I am going to prime my face with Fenty Pro Filter. Ooh, can you guys see that? Ooh. But it's the primer that came out with the foundation. I'm just gonna pump it into my hands like face lotion. And put it on my face. They know how to put on primer ready. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I will be using the YSL Two Shut Egg Clot. This is a sample. So I'm over here scraping the pan to get it. I love this because it got like gold reflexes in it. And it really feels good on the skin. Like I could wear this out. You should try it. One, One day. day. This shit cost like $60, like a full bottle. I will use my Pro Filter Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 450. So today we'll be going out to Puff and Petals. Y'all know that's K Michelle Little Lounge down here in Atlanta. Why I gotta be her little lounge though? It's her lounge down here in Atlanta. I ain't trying to try her. I'm excited to go. It looks really cute. So, I don't do my foundation first. I do my eyebrows. Uh, sometimes I do my eyebrows first. It just depends on the mood I'm in, I guess. If y'all hear something in the background, background, I mean, bleh, background, that is me watching Stranger Things. I don't know why she got me watching some scary stuff. So I'm gonna have to go home this and pray. This is crazy. Like, I stayed up all soul. last, I started watching this show last night. I'm on season two now. I text my best friend because she was just like, you have to watch it, it's good. Uh, she know I'm scary. So I text her and she's like, girl, I'm gonna smack you. All right, let's have a race on who can finish your fake makeup first. Me. You think so? Yes. You think you'll finish your makeup before me? Yes. I do. Well, you have already started. I'm just now drawing eyebrows. If you've watched this Stranger Things show, comment below. And tell me what do you guys think about this show? It is on Netflix if you're interested in watching. And I'm done, girl. That's it. Um, so next I am going to go ahead and apply my eyebrows. Um, and I just use Anastasia's Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Ebony. That's what I use too. I'm sorry, I didn't tell y'all. Yeah. Well, I'm about to conceal my eyebrows now. Um I use a MAC angle brush. I think it's the MAC, what is this, 263 or 283? And I use their concealer. I don't know what concealer this is though. Mm -hmm. So when I go buy this or when I go re-up on some more, cause I'm hitting pan, I'm not gonna know what to get. Yeah, this show is crazy. They should have known when they took him out of that hospital room or wherever he was trapped at and he had that thing stuck in his mouth, he was going to have some type of side effects. I ain't even watching it. Because I don't want to have to go home and pray over myself. <clears throat> Spray holy water everywhere. Okay. My eyebrows look okay? Yeah, was you conceal them? I have concealed them. What you mean like like clean it up like blend it oh. out <laughs>
if anybody I was gonna say in the ATL, but if anybody, period, has been to K Michelle's spot, tell me what type of drink did you get and what type of food did you get? How did you enjoy it? What was it like? What was the experience like for you? I'm honestly hoping that it's I don't wanna be shady. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm hoping that it's better than um OLG. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know who lives in Atlanta. But just people from the south, like now, not to knock the place, it was a good place. Like the food was good. We went on like Cinco de Mayo, I believe, like the year it first opened. We went on Cinco de Mayo and them tacos was good as hell. I, I will don't say that I had a bad experience, so everything was disgusting. And what I will say is, is that Candy and Todd and like her mom and the mom's sisters, her, where are they? Her aunts. Mm -hmm. They legit be there. Like they walk around and everything. Yeah. But if you're from the South, like your parents, and your grandparents was raised in the South, like how she was, you would expect like some good ass. Some Southern food, like my grandma's kitchen type of food. And that's not what it was like. The food was good. And if you in Atlanta, you know that that place actually was, it's on Peter Street. So it's different from K. Michelle's spot. This place on Peter Street, it actually took place of Cloud Nine. If you ever been on been to Cloud Nine back in the day. And it tastes like the same food that was at Cloud Nine to me. It was good though. I mean, but I wouldn't consider it like southern cooking, southern style cooking. Definitely southern style not. cooking is if you're gonna call your food your my grandma's kitchen. Yeah. If you're gonna say you're serving southern style food. You have to meet a certain expectation. When right. It comes to that. And it's just disappointing because it's like she lives in Atlanta, so she should know what type of food Atlanta people from the South want to eat. But I don't know. Maybe we was full. Because I've had people with like home cooked meals who are from the South and their food tastes like trash. And I just be saying, here like, how? Who raised you? This is a disappointment. And I'm done. Okay, so for eyes, I am going to be using the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Plays. This is it. It is so freaking gorgeous. So, the color I'm going to use on my inner crease will be this color here. Or my crease color. Oh, so she dating somebody now? Probably somebody's husband. Yeah. Why they had it? Cause she at work. It's somebody's husband. Um, and I don't normally do this, but because I don't like how the concealer is looking at the moment, I'm going to use a blue, uh, beauty blender just to blend it out a tad bit so I can look better. The next color I'm going to use is this pretty burgundy color. Oh, the colors are at the bottom of the palette. So the first color I used was Burkina. I hope I pronounced these right. Um, and the next one is Zobo. And it'll be this pretty burgundy right here. Um, so I start on my concealer after this, and the concealer that I use is MAC Pro Longwear. Um, I want to try their new 24 hour concealer, so I will be getting it. 
Um, but this is in the shade uh, NW45. And I'm going to assume that the um, concealer I use for my eyebrow is the same thing. It's just in a little tube like this. I prefer that because it's not as creamy and liquidy and messy to work with. Um, the brush that I'm going to use, I'm not sure where, you know, Brittany. This is Brittany's brush. Probably some beauty supply store brush. That's my brush? Yes. It says when. Um, Let me see. I think we, we bought this to do, like, a um, face mask with. Anyways, so I'm going to use this. And I'm just going to pump one pump onto the smaller end of this. So something like this, just easy to work around the eye with. Uh, so one pump. Oh. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna dab it. Uh -huh. Bring it up the side of my nose. So, as my lid color, I'm going to use Calabar, which is this shimmer color here. So, to blend this out, what I will be using is Mario... This? <laughs> Badescu? Badescu? Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. And I'm going to use an LC Blending Sponge. So, I just... Get it damp. Oh, I still need it. Thanks. There you go. Let me get my ear back. And I'm just going to work this out. Uh, if you are into makeup as much as Brittany and I are, um, I'm pretty sure you know where I got this from. <laughs> Uh, if you watch makeup Shayla's videos, she uses this to blend out her contour, and it was a must-have for me. So, what I'm going to do typically, I uh, apply concealer on my lid as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that up there as well to be at my base for my eyeshadow. And so I will go in with um, LA Girl Pro, um, Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan. Um, this is very, very affordable. You can buy it at any beauty supply store. Um, and I highly recommend it. Before using MAC, I was using this completely as my concealer. So I'm about to go in with my Born This Way Too Faced foundation i have it in the color tiramisu and i just pump it on my brush like this so it's about to drip 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 all right and so i only put it in the corners um i don't put it all over like i do um my matte concealer only because i really want just this corner and right underneath my eye to be a little bit brighter than the rest of my face this is a Juvia's Place brush. This is my first time actually using this brush as a foundation brush. When I look at it, it looks like, to me, a concealer type of brush. But we're going to use it for foundation today. So what I just did was I just went ahead and used Fenty Beauty's matchstick in the color Espresso to contour um, in those contour areas. So forehead, cheeks, um, and jawline and around my, and in my nose. So I'm about to conceal and contour my face too. I'm using Fenty Beauty as well. I'm using Suede and Espresso, the matchsticks that came with the 400 section. I do not have the Born This Way. I really just wanted the concealer color in Chestnut. The Ulta that I go to does not carry it. Um, so I'm waiting for them to get it in stock. 
I guess it's highly requested or a lot of people like it. Um, now I am going to set my face with my Laura Mercier um, setting powder in the color medium deep and I set in all of those areas that I can't um, conceal so under my eye forehead chin and under my nose and I do use the Laura Mercier uh, puff sponge that they that it comes with uh, before using this I was using the banana powder um, Can I, use your I like sponge? it yeah, this sponge is actually really is the shit. So, I plan to buy me one. Um, I just had this right under the eye, girl. Oh uh-huh, to brighten that up. Yep, girl, yep, right there, just like that. You know I don't like her. I'm about to have it. I forgot y'all had any. Mm-hmm. So I am about to set my concealer with the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder in medium, translucent medium. And this is what it looks like. But that's gonna be pretty. So I've set my face for a while. I'm about to sweep away the powder. I'm about to do my inner corner. And I am going to use Dahaya, this color here, as my inner corner highlight. And I am now about to highlight my face. So I am going to be using the Fenty Beauty Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule to highlight my face. And I'm going to highlight my nose and cheeks. So now I'm just going to set my face. And I'm going to be using the Mario Badescu. Um, Facial spray and rose water. Get it all wet and moist. So we had to do the rest of our makeup off camera because we are in a hurry. However, I'm gonna just do a rundown of what I did. I did do my eyeliner with the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. Um, I also did mascara. I did the Big Shot. I actually did, I didn't do mascara, I did primer. It was the Big Shot Primer. And I put on some Ardell Natural Lashes. And what did you use? Um, so I used the Fenty Fly, uh, Fly Liner to do my eyeliner. Um, and I used Ardell as well to Ardell Natural Lashes. Uh, my mascara I used with Lash Sensational Lushes by Maybelline. So, we will be finishing off the look with our lips, lippies. So, I'm just going to prime my lips with Burt's Bees Chapstick. May I use chestnut? Mm-hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do is go ahead and line my lip with Max Chestnut. Um, and so, what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to use... Max Viva La Glam 2, I believe, or 1. It's a very tan, um, well, nude color. I actually love it. It's a pinkish nude. I'm going to go ahead and apply that in between the liner. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use... I just say I'm not sure. I think this is Max Honey Love or Honey something. And I'm just going to put it on my bottom lip. As you can see, that color is not for dark skin. So I'm just going to lock my lips. 
Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take um, Anastasia's Toffee Lip Gloss and dab that in the center as well. And I will be finishing off my lippy with the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. Um, I put it on the back of my hand so that I don't mess up the color of the actual gloss. I just take one of my fingers, wipe the gloss up, and put it on my lips. And that is it for me. And that is it for me. So please subscribe to our channel, guys. This is our very first video. We are so open to feedback and what we need to make ourselves better. So mm -hmm. please comment below. Let us know what it is that y'all would want to see, especially our chocolate babies. Let us know which I want to see because we are here for you guys testing out new foundations and products so that you all know what it's like before you go out and spend your moolahs all thank right, you guys. for joining us have a good one <laughs> until next time see ya